Vale, esto, la casa de Sherlock ya va tomando forma. Hay que abrir las puertas. Quedan por abrir puertas, pero... Va tomando forma. Vale, vamos a volver aquí a las ruinas. Realmente la puerta está ahí. Stop, Lloyd. Ay, esto no lo había visto. Poseidón. Vale, y aquí tenemos las estatuas. Por muchas veces que lo lea, yo siempre llego a la misma conclusión. Así que voy a volver a probar. Es que a mí me parece que estaba claro. A ver, por un lado tenemos... Esta estatua que iba hacia el este Y la contraria Hacia el lado contrario, hacia el oeste También sabemos que aquí iba La que tenía la cabeza de león Lo que no sabemos en qué orientación está Pero solo hay dos opciones O está mirando hacia el sur Y esta hacia el norte Así o al revés, pero esto ya lo probé. It seems everything's in place. Now, let's see what this has to tell us. Pero si esto ya lo había probado, no lo entiendo. Esto lo probé, fue lo primero que probé. Vale, vamos a hablar. Supongo que tendré que hablar con el. Y tengo dos cosas. Ah, sí, es verdad, la regata, el... Encontrar dónde está el regatista profesional. Pero bueno, eso después. Ahora mismo estamos aquí. Con el escenario recreado debería ver si la ubicación de la tumba queda clara. Supongo que tendré que hablar con el arqueólogo. ¿Dónde estás? Aquí está. Vamos a ver. No. Pues habrá que encontrarlas por nuestra cuenta. No le podemos decir nada. Vale, dice que hay que usar concentración. Se ha activado algo, pero no sé... Ah, ahí, ahí lo veo. Baja por aquí. Vale, pero ¿de quién son esas huellas? Ahí. your discovery, Mr. Swift. Hey, look at this. What have you found? Don't let anyone touch anything there. Eureka! I found you, my friend. O sea, que se pegan un montón de tiempo excavando todo esto y no encuentran nada y viene Sherlock y en un momento descubre dónde está todo. 
¿Y ahora? He encontrado la tumba. El señor Swift está emocionado con el descubrimiento. Puedo aprovecharme de esta oportunidad para examinar su banco de trabajo. Vale. Es verdad que antes no nos dejó. Mientras él estuviera allí... Ahora está libre el banco de trabajo y puedo examinarlo. Box of darts. Handy against rodents of all kinds. Trompas y colmillo. El superventa zoológico trompas y colmillos proporciona una descripción de los elefantes con el mayor rigor científico. Es casi enciclopédico en su análisis de la vida de las criaturas, tanto en cautividad como en libertad. El capítulo crucial describe la temporada de celo de los elefantes, en la que se vuelven extremadamente peligrosos. Además, el libro ofrece consejos sobre cómo comunicarse e interaccionar con el gran mamífero. Vale, habrá sido este tío el que ha liberado él. El elefante... Cuaderno encuadernado en cuero. Un diario personal propiedad de Arthur Swift. Describe con bastante detalle su vida personal y sus investigaciones. Y lo que es más importante, habla de una disputa entre el arqueólogo y Theodore Gilden por la excavación. Día 1224. Sí que se pegaron tiempo excavando, ¿eh? Theodore siempre usa su dinero para callar cualquier queja. Preferiría que se comprara un cerebro con más... <risa> Girificación, ¿qué es eso? Para que fuera lo bastante inteligente como para ver las cosas con perspectiva. No todo está relacionado con ese maldito elefante. Solo tengo unos meses hasta que comience la construcción. Carece incluso de la imaginación como para construir algo bello. Los baños de marfil. ¡Qué mundado! Debo pensar o oh, una pieza histórica valiosísima quedará enterrada bajo una intrascendencia. O sea, claro, uno quería construir los baños... Y el otro lo que le interesaba era la excavación arqueológica. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Me pillaron. Trying to take over my research, are you? I come here to pick up my diary and I find you snooping around. Explain yourself. Mr. Swift, if that were true, I would have been on my way to the newspaper. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I didn't have a chance to introduce myself properly. Outrageous! You deceived me, sir. What is the reason for your being here? Who sent you, Mr. Holmes? Theodore Gildon's premature death brought me here. Theodore is dead? How can that be possible? I'm thinking of all the possibilities, and I'm not crossing out anyone who might have been involved. Even his elephant. The land you're excavating belongs to Mr. Gildon, does it not? Did I hear an accusation? I have nothing to hide. You can ask me whatever nonsense you've prepared as a token of my diminishing respect towards you. Very well, Mr. Swift. I appreciate your cooperation. Were you at the site this morning? Affirmative. This project is taking a lot of my time, as you see. I spend more time underground than on the surface. When did you learn about Theodore's death? Just now. You just told me. And you aren't surprised, shocked. I won't tell anyone if you shed a tear or two. Weren't you partners, after all? We were. And it is a real shame. But I've seen too many deaths in my life, Mr. Holmes, for the news to truly shake me. When was the last time you saw Mr. Gildon? A couple of days ago. We discussed the site. I believe in the tomb and its secrets. Theodore's patience was stretched, however. He was already inventing new projects. It wasn't a long conversation. I suppose that his daughter will inherit everything now, along with all of the eccentricities and problems. And not forgetting Goliath. Eccentricities and problems, Mr. Holmes. One of many. Will you allow me to return to my research, or are you insisting on remaining an obstacle? Oh, I haven't even started yet. Vale, ¿qué le puedo enseñar? Sí. Su propio diario. You have a weakness for nostalgia. Or, rather, do you use it to record a list of enemies? 
Young man, you need to check your moral compass. Reading another person's diary is a sin in every culture that I can think of. But you aren't answering the question. You've already read it. Why bother? I simply record my life to keep my memory clean from misinterpretation. Letters and pages don't lie. But the writer of the text can. Bueno, le puedo preguntar sobre todo lo que he encontrado en su mesa, el libro. With this book, you attempted to plan an attack on the elephant. Your insinuations are out of place. Goliath is a frightening animal. All I wished to do was to understand the creature. As any scientist would do, I researched, analyzed, and drew conclusions. Hmm. Then what conclusion did you draw? That Theodore Gilden made the animal miserable. He couldn't provide the proper environment for the beast. My interest in the subject ended there. La caja de dardo. What's with this box of darts? Is it for a scientific argument? A little darker than that. Rather for killing the kind of rodents that might nibble a nose or a toe in your sleep. Let's just say I have to protect myself against a larger animal, such as an elephant. Might it be enough to stop it, make it faint? If I were you, I wouldn't bank on it. Bueno, sobre la investigación, Nothing nada. I'm a busy man. As far as I can tell, you're a man of the academic world, so this book about Nabe and Laura is just an empirical study? What? That nonsense? I'd prefer to lose my eyesight than read such trash. So, you know nothing about it? I know nothing. I wish I'd never heard of it in the first place, this caricature of science. Do I hear traces of envy? You're still relatively young that you might find your own, Laura. Perhaps I envy, Nabe, for I cannot simply blow people up for distracting me. That's all. You happy now? Wonderful. ¿Qué más? No creo que esto importe. El perfume. Moving on. No. Remember one of the rules? It uh, seems that you didn't return a tool. Is this knife yours? Do I look like a fellow who carries a knife? I don't need it. There are plenty of uses for it on the site. And outside of it. I have other people to cut ropes for me, Mr. Holmes. El cuchillo no es suyo. Eso es lo que dice. Gildan's elephant is quite an unusual addition to Cordona's fauna. What is your scientific opinion on that? No matter how much Theodore loved it, it still remained a wild animal trapped inside a stone pen. Goliath needs savannas, fields, lakes. I'm sure that Goliath did not have a plan to kill his owner to head to the savannas. What do you think? No. Animals don't kill in a typical sense. I can only presume that it tried to protect itself from captivity, from Theodore. It was a gilded cage that was predestined to break. I'm a busy man. Moving on. Have you seen this person before? The one beside Imogen Gildan? No, but he's with Imogen, so I suppose that he's a friend of hers. That girl always has her head in the clouds. I could have said Theodore was different, but that wouldn't have been entirely true. Away with the fairies, was he? That's one way of putting it. Either way, I don't know much about Imogen's life or her friends. The type of elite that pretends to be educated. No, ya se lo pregunto todo, por si acaso. I've nothing to add. What's with this intricate recruitment process? Pro-British workers charge less? As a head of this organization, I need to secure a productive environment. It's impossible to do so if there are political differences. Especially here, where the native population doesn't support our efforts to find the ancient artifacts. 
decent pay can also stimulate productivity and shut down any political discord. Hadn't you thought of that? You're young. You have time to fritter and fight with everyone you meet. I don't have such a luxury. Our workers receive enough pay for what they do. So don't start a discussion you know nothing about. I'm a busy man. Did this plan cause a rift in your business relationship with Theodore Gildon? Nothing like that. Admittedly, we didn't share a common vision of what is more important, the past or the future. In my opinion, we can't build a future without knowing the past. So you wanted to save the tomb of Vitus here, or perhaps your control over the research? Only the knowledge that rightly belongs to humankind. Nothing less and nothing more. Siete vistas actualizadas. Bueno. Bueno, todo lo que le he preguntado es que se ha actualizado y esto ya, ya lo hemos visto. Quedaría por encontrar el último libro. Supongo que lo siguiente será ir a buscar al novio de Imogen. Y espero que el libro esté aquí, en el Club de Vela, en la zona sur de Gran Saray. Pues podríamos ir a Gran Saray. Tiene que estar cerca de... Mira, si está aquí. Podemos ir directamente. Ah, no podemos hasta que no salgamos de aquí. Ahora sí. Este debe ser el club de vela, ¿no? Ese barco no está muy... Ah, ya decía yo, el barco está muy torcido, ¿no? Lo están reparando. Los otros no son el mismo. A ver. Este de aquí. No sé si es exactamente igual. No, no es igual. No lleva el mismo traje. Menos mal que al menos no lleva el mismo traje. Vale, yo creo que tengo que preguntar antes de entrar. Is this familiar to you? Go back to work. No me va a decir nada, a no ser que me disfrace seguramente, a ver. Me tengo que disfrazar de la clase alta. No entiendo cómo puede ser esto de clase alta, este tipo de... este sombrero y la máscara. Pero bueno, me da bastante. Y este bigote no le gusta... No, no le gusta nada de bigote. Ey, ¿por qué no volvió a su sitio? Ah, porque si me pongo bigote le quita el sombrero, le quita la máscara. Pues así se queda. A ver si ahora me habla. Can you satisfy my curiosity? That's a question I can answer. Sí, ahora sí. Los miembros del club han comentado que Paul se perdió la carrera y nadie lo ha visto desde por la mañana. 
Puede que esté en su sala del taller al sur del de Vela. Voy a devolver otra vez a... Ahí. Modo detective. El taller puede ser este. Pone examinar. Empieza a hablar con nadie. El otro libro, el que me falta. Sales of hatred. I suppose there is something for everyone, including champions. Hey, a word about the trilogy. Right then, you literary expert. You, what was so important about these books, or do you simply need some kindling? It's inspirational. I have a plan. Are you listening? I wish I wasn't, but I am. So, we catch a monkey, a langa, for example, then we extract some blood from it. What? Why? It will make us forever young, Sherry. Page 127 of the second book. Oh, I am so done with this. No, wait. Then how about we make a wax statue? I've stopped listening, John. Ah, John, cada vez está fatal. Está peor, eh? Cada vez está peor. A ver. A foghorn to navigate and warn others at sea. You should have a warning to cover your ears. hace más tontería no sé qué me falta por mirar a ah, la ventana bloodied bandages someone being hurt where would a champion hide a key Ahí está la llave. Es más skilled at yachting than he is at hiding keys.
bloodied bandages. To earn big, you have to spend big. Amenazas en un sobre. Indútil saca cuartos. ¿Cree que puede chuparle la sangre a mi familia, robarme, aprovecharme de su... Ah, vale, ya veo por dónde va esto. Aprovecharse de mi hija. Esto se acaba hoy, su carrera se ha terminado. Le haré una última advertencia. Si se niega a cooperar, pisará un terreno pantanoso. Vale. Todo esto lo ha hecho el novio de, de la hija. El novio de Imogen. Old betting slips. Paul always bets on Whirlpool. One victory after another. Lo que no sé es si ella está implicada en esto o solo él. A lo mejor él se hizo novio de ella solamente para sacarle el dinero al padre. Additional earnings to sweeten the victory. An interesting place for a message to a champion. Vale, pero ¿qué dice la nota? Aquí esto. No puedes echarte atrás de nuestro acuerdo. No puedes marcharte así como así. Te necesitamos para conseguir hojas frescas para nuestro té. Si tienes preguntas, los chicos te estarán vigilando en la carrera. ¿Se dejaba ganar? Otra vez tardo. Los mismos dardos, la misma caja y los mismos dardos. full of darts. Each has a needle and can be loaded with drugs. An expensive set of tools for woodwork. An amateur wouldn't know how to use these. Shipbuilding, shipwrights tricks, sail weaving. No sé si falta algo más por examinar. Según esto, sí. The champion's whirlpool pools bread and butter.
Vale, me sigue diciendo dos cosas. Examinar el lugar y usar concentración. Que no veo nada. No creo que haya que salir. Puede ser que lo siguiente salga de aquí. Uf, tengo un montón. Vale, a ver, si hubiera, si no hubiera dejado que se llenase esto sería más fácil. Vale, los dos tienen tardo. Arthur pudo haberse hecho la herida al caerse contra el cobertizo de Kilden. Puede ser. Tiempos difíciles... Aunque la sociedad se disolvió. Vale. Arthur Swift ha dedicado su vida a estudiar la historia de la humanidad. Parece que no tuviera dispuesto a dejarlo. Vale, eh, bien puede estar herido por una caída y tenemos que... Ay, pues desapareció la, la que decía que tenía el codo herido. Alguien presenció el caos que se desató en casa de Gilden. Se le cayó un cuchillo y puede que tenga heridas del golpe, pero...
Vale, eso ya lo, ya lo puse. Esto no está relacionado. Sigue sin añadir nada nuevo aquí. Yo no veo que pueda mezclarse nada más. Pues estoy en las mismas. Estoy en las mismas otra vez. A ver. Se supone que tengo que examinar algún sitio, pero... No sé qué sitio es. Aquí lo mismo. Tengo que examinar algo. Can you satisfy my curiosity? How dare you address me? Ver. Excuse me, just one question. I can't help you with that, sir. No, no me van a decir nada. Si sí, no creo que haya nada que preguntar realmente. Lo único que se me ocurre es volver a la casa y preguntarle a la hija. Todavía tienen a este tirado aquí. Y todavía... Este todavía está haciendo fotos. Lleva ahí horas. Para sacar una foto. A ver, ¿qué le puedo preguntar? I don't have any thoughts on this. Are you aware that Paul smuggles drugs for a dangerous gang? Mr. Holmes, I've already told you. I call him a pirate in play. He's not an actual pirate. He's a champion and a brave gentleman, not a thug. Let us agree to disagree on that. 
But don't be surprised if one of his clients knocks on your door. Have you seen what your father sent to Paul? This is despicable. My father was never a gentleman, but this crosses the line. I knew that father wasn't fond of Paul, but this... This is just awful. If only he could have seen how good Paul he is to me. Vale, ella no lo sabía. O sea que yo creo que ella no está, me, no está en este lío. Vale, así que se dedicaba a hacer regatas, pero yo creo que escondía que... En el barco escondía... Estaba por aquí. Sí. Seguro que marihuana o algo así. O en aquella época, ¿qué podía ser? Opio. Supone que este es su barco. ¿Y ahora qué? Eh, ahí. Cajita de té intacta. Pero de té no tiene nada, ¿no? ¿Qué hay dentro? Undeniably psychotropes. Not for toothache, I think. Typical tea tin. I wonder what he has for biscuits. Vale, por fin. He encontrado psicotrópicos de contrabando en una caja de té en el taller del almacén. En el almacén había pruebas de que Paul tiene relaciones con el crimen organizado. Pasa psicotrópicos de contrabando con el yate. Oi, hands off my possessions before you lose your fingers. Are you illiterate? The rules are written everywhere. Ah, Mr. Perks, the cabin boy himself. Champion, you mean. I was right. You are illiterate. I think a couple of shiners might teach you. One last chance. Who are you? I'm Sherlock Holmes, a friend of our mutual acquaintance, Miss Imogen. Look, you artichoke. Imogen has no friends, except for me. If you must try to insult people, it's better to know the meanings of the words that you're using. You fancy you could teach a sailor to swear? Go ahead. Show me how inventive you are. Stand still for a moment. No tiene nuez de Adán. Es mujer. ¿En serio? Brazo vendado, accidente o represalia. Cuerpo femenino desarrollado. Se ha golpeado con algo en el codo. 
regatista o contrabandista. Dudo mucho que alguien le pusiera eso y él no se enterara, así que yo voy a decir contrabandista. Emplea su carrera como regatista, como tapadera para hacer contrabando de mercancías para varias bandas de, cor de cordona. Su brazo herido refleja la naturaleza peligrosa de su vida. A pesar de una fachada intrépida, suele tener problemas con su relación con el mundo criminal. Y aún así, se ha ganado un lugar en el mundo como... No veo el motivo para contarle a nadie su secreto. So, a woman wishes to become a real criminal, and smuggling is a stepping stone towards that? Is there not enough prestige in yachting? Or, is it easier to compete with other fools like yourself? Everyone has a starting pistol, just shoot and run. Don't say a word. I don't know where you're getting half of this nonsense, but you're on some thin ice here that I'm willing to crack. Damn you, Paul. I'm sick of... Who's this peacock? Does he know who I am? I definitely know who you are not. You're not a dictionary reader, at least. I wanted to see how you... pals interact with each other in your natural habitat. But I'm afraid I have to interfere. Se mueve. Ahora sí. Ah, lo maté. Sí, le di en el sombrero, la última bala. Rest, my friend. <coughs> Too simple. The snuff's ready. Time to knock this guy out. Overcome the brute now. Ah, la última bala. Me faltó una. I couldn't miss the party. No more cry. Give him the pepper snuff. Too simple. I will end you. I can't miss the party. Take a to knock this guy out. I'm coming for you. Ah, no. No, error. I'm coming for you. The snuff's ready.
No more from the pepper snuff. Take a rest. The snuff's ready. But vale, listo. And there's no reward for risking our lives. Paul's explanation will suffice. Vale, hay que hablar con... Supongo que con Paul. Your fellow mariners have a strange way of showing hospitality. They were not my friends. Are you sure? I would rather risk my neck for someone who's at least honest and thankful. Perhaps then don't enter someone's life and be so judgmental, pretending you're better than they are. Then give me your perspective and allow me to see through your eyes. What were you doing this morning, Miss Perks? Don't call me that. I'm a champion. I was sailing. The other club members told me that you missed the race this morning. Do champions not need to practice? Ugh, you've talked with them already. No, I wasn't racing. I visited the doctor after that attack on me. And then I had to honor the deal with the bandits you just took care of. I tried to tell you before, but your partners interrupted. Have you heard the news? Theodore Gilden is dead. Do you have anything to say? Well, what a shock. To me, he was an angry old ogre. Good riddance. Was it Goliath that killed him? Did it crush him? Break his bones? Come on, tell me. I want all the details. You have an unusual way of showing grief. Imogen wouldn't appreciate that. But yes, the animal could have been involved. It's poetic in a way, isn't it? It takes a beast to kill a monster. I wish I could have been that elephant. This business of yours, you should be more careful. Ruining your life at such a young age is ridiculous. I am careful. Except for you, no one has noticed where I store the smuggled goods. If the police arrive, there's no link to me. It's common storage, not exclusively mine. Vale, ¿qué le puedo decir? I don't know what you're suggesting. Bueno, tendré que preguntarle todo, supongo. I'm clueless. You smuggle illicit psychotropes on your yacht. Not a delivery for the hospital, I'm sure. Of course not. I've had to cut corners to earn some money. How might a person afford to pay for a yacht in an honest way? I don't know, although I'm smart. The buyers are my customers. Adults who are willing to pay for their pleasure, or weapons for jewels. Whatever they want me to deliver. Nothing criminal. Well, it's your lucky day. I'm not here because of smuggling. Have you tasted this tea yourself? I wouldn't have been a champion if I had used it. It's just a side business that keeps my career afloat. It's quite expensive to compete in yachting. Sometimes I cut corners. Such as fixing Whirlpool yourself? Exactly. And sometimes I just have to pay. That's how I earn money. I don't sell slaves or take the last mangir from a poor family. It seems as though Theodore Gilden hung a sword of Damocles over your life and career. Were these only words, or something more serious? <sighs> Check my forearm. Pulled muscles and bruises. Small cuts. Nothing that you could call serious. I doubt that a man in his late fifties could wrestle you. It wasn't him. He behaved like a rat and hired brutes. His boys tried to lock my hands behind my back, but I was faster and I escaped. Was he so protective of his daughter, or was it your feminine secret that provoked him? My guess is that he was protecting his property. As he saw it, he owned Imogen, and he treated her like a piece of furniture. He didn't want his daughter to be loved by anyone. What's more painful is that Theodore didn't allow me to love his daughter. Typical. I'm not sure that your relationship with Imogen could be described as typical. Are you afraid of a woman in trousers? Now that's typical of men. Look what I found. A box full of darts. Hey, that's mine. I confiscated it. These darts appear to be filled with something. Poison? How powerful is it? It's strychnine. Enough to instantly kill a small rodent. 
I haven't tried it on a human. Yet. I hope you know what you're doing. Could it immobilize a larger animal, say, an elephant? I've never tried, but I have wondered. No, creo que esto tenga nada que ver. Between your oh, sí. starts and notes from bandits, I've discovered many fascinating facts about you. But this, an installment of Nabe and Laura's adventures, why did you sully your library with this? It's a gift from Imogen. I didn't buy it. I might have turned a couple of pages, but nothing more. I swear. I will give you the benefit of the doubt, but your literary taste has put you on my blacklist. A charming picture. I've heard that champions do often pose with their trophies. Cheeky. It is a lovely trophy, though. I'm sure you will agree. What is it that you like most about her? Her naivety? Her father's money? A somewhat difficult choice. Especially now that her father is out of the equation. No, creo que tenga nada que ver. A Swift. Oh, sí. Are you familiar with this name? The gentleman had business with Mr. Gildon. Likely just another strange and wrinkled fellow like old Gildon was. Perhaps this swift person has a rhino, and they wanted to see which pet was stronger. In other words, I don't know who he is, but I bet he's crazy like Theodore. I doubt that court owner has ever boasted a battle arena for that size of mammal. You have an interesting imagination. I don't know what you're suggesting. What can you tell me about the elephant? He's smarter than some people here, including his owner. Although I feel he could be dangerous, no matter how much he's fed. Why is that? Have you ever seen Goliath attack anyone? Well, not exactly. But I saw it, uh, abusing some poor tree during one of its walks with Theodore. The expression on that old ninny's face was priceless. But it wasn't funny to look at. Believe me, it was frightening. El cuchillo. Does this knife seem familiar? I didn't find it in your competitor's back, to be clear. This knife is as blunt as your humor. It's a boson's knife, but it's not mine. I wouldn't be so careless as to mislay my tools. Otro di que dice que el cuchillo no es suyo. I don't know what you're suggesting. 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 I don't know what this means. I'm clueless. I don't know what you're suggesting. I don't know what this means. Imogen doesn't strike me as an industrious young lady, so I find it strange that she was busy packing up all her belongings when Mr. Gildon died. That's some um, favorable wind in your sails, isn't it? Is it so suspicious that a couple might embark on a trip? I wanted to thank her, so we plan to go traveling. A Theodore-free place, without elephants. The timing of it is suspicious, however. Your lady friend becomes an orphan and heir, and there's a planned trip directly afterwards. An improvised romantic dinner will never please a spoiled girl. A planned voyage might. It's not spur of the moment. Vale, tenemos todo esto actualizado. Y ahora supongo que habrá que sacar datos de aquí. Theodore atacó a Paul y tiene magulladura. No. Goliath es peligroso ahora, pero puede resultar muy útil para el caso. Tengo que aprovecharme de su celo para atraerlo. Vale, de ahí hemos sacado algo. Magulladora con daño de cobertizo. Sí. Paul pudo haberse causado la herida del codo al caerse contra el cobertizo de Theodore Gilde. Vale, yo creo que fue Paul. Por ahora. Si 
Theodore Ginnell estaba decidido a destruir la carrera de Paul y su bienestar hasta el punto de contratar criminales. No, esto no. Y ahora tenemos algo nuevo. Ah, el vial de sudor de elefante puede servir de como feromonas, pues sí. Vale, otro análisis químico. ¡Ay, qué horror! Ah, uf, menos 10 y menos 3. A ver, si este le cambiamos de signo... Vale, vale, creo, creo que lo tengo. Si a este le cambiamos de signo y ahora a este le restamos uno. Y ahora al 3 que tenemos aquí lo multiplicamos por 2. Seis menos 10 menos 3, mira tú. Cazando a Goliath. El elefante Goliath per te presenció la muerte del señor Ginding y puede que tenga respuestas sobre cómo sucedió. Está en celo. Algo que puedo aprovechar para traerlo. Tengo una idea de cómo hacerlo. Pero voy a necesitar varios artículos. Una tela gris resistente que pueda contener gas. Un instrumento que suene como el barrito de una trompa de elefante. Y un aroma fuerte que atraiga al animal. He visto tela para la fabricación de maniquíes en la excavación. Vale, vale. Vamos a la excavación. La bocina del taller de barcos puede atraer o ahuyentar grandes embarcaciones. Puede que sea de ayuda. Y el perfume del despacho de Theodore puede ser de ayuda. He extraído las feromonas que pueden usarse para atraer al elefante. Pues aquí... A ver, ¿dónde estaba? Esto... Nos lo llevamos. Y ahora tenemos que ir a la excavación... A por la tela. Ay, por aquí no se salía. Por... Esta es la puerta. No sé a qué tela se refiere, uy. La pala ha flotado hacia las manos de John. Papers, pen, torch. What are you doing? Ah, oh, now I have to start over. Ceramics, keys. ¿Qué te la dice? No sé si tendré que preguntarle. Aquí, tengo que preguntarle a este. I've nothing to add. I'm a busy man. I'm a busy man. 
Your partner had a very specific attitude towards the things he treasured. Was this habitual for him? That would have been too much even for him. Don't get me wrong, he had a harsh temper. Like a true businessman, he was ready to burn his competitors to the ground. But threatening someone physically would have been something new even for him, am I correct? Absolutely. Besides, I had never seen him this angry. The fellow who received the letter must have been extremely alarmed. Tela para la fabricación de maniquíes. Ah, sí, es verdad. ¿Dónde los vi los maniquíes? This fabric will work. This is Nini seemed to know us sewing inside out. Uh. Tengo la tela, puede llenarse de gas. ¿Y ahora? ¿Ahora qué? Ah, el perfume del despacho. Es verdad que no, no, no se lo llevó. Tengo que ir a ver a la señora Nini. Vale, seguro que nos ayuda. Seguro que sí. ¿Y ella dónde estaba? Ella estaba, a ver, en Escaladio, cerca, muy cerca de la comisaría. Por aquí. He's even been putting up posters, poor man. ¿Y esto? Losing it may... Descubre las circunstancias tras los carteles de artículos desaparecidos. Esto es nuevo. Profesor de música y violín robado, vale. He's even been putting up... Was being very stealthy, Sherlock, and you threw it all away. Come on, pull yourself together. He's even been putting up. El violín. Profesor de música. Zona centro, por probar, sí. Son esas tres cosas. Un profesor de música local ha estado colgando carteles en la zona centro de Escaladio, cerca de la Catedral de San Clemente, en busca de información sobre su. Pues eso nos da un nuevo caso. Que ya lo resolveré. Aquí, ¿eh, ¿no? Sí. Aquí está la señora Nini. Good day, madam. I've come to you with a special requirement. The tailors on the street can't help me, I'm afraid. Could you make a doll for me? Oh, señor Holmes. You taught the police how to do their job, and they found the thief. Of course I will help you. But what sort of doll? A child's doll, such as my great niece might play with? Um, a little larger than your typical doll. Signore, I don't understand. Boy, girl, animal, and what color? Animal, um, a passionate, perhaps amorous animal. Ah, oh, Signore, you talk in riddles. I am an old lady who's seen it all. Tell me what you need. I need a life-size elephant. I think Mrs. De tamaño natural. <laughs> Is that a tail? That's a trunk, John, but I must agree with you that it's a masterpiece. Well, let's not waste any time. Ahora tengo todo lo que necesito. Debería visitar a la señora Nini, eso ya lo hice. Con la magnífica muñeca elefante en mi poder, debería emplear el cobertizo del gas del patio de Gilden para inflarla como cebo. Vale, ya sé. Ya ve lo que va a hacer. Va a hacer un globo con... 
con la muñeca elefante. Y supongo que lo llenará de... de las feromonas. Del sudor de elefante. Vale, aquí. The game is on. So, what's the plan? I hope it all doesn't go horribly wrong. We know that the elephant is seeking a female. We can arrange that. A doll with the appropriate scent might do miracles. So you're a marriage broker. Well, I suppose that makes me a groomsman. Oh, she is a bit breezy, I must say. Well, Goliath is eager for a single female elephant in his area. It should be just enough for his taste. You'll need to trust me. <laughs> Are we ready? I can't stand the tension. We're ready. Let's call the elephant. Yo qué sé, eh, seductora. How could anyone resist? Yo creo que eso da igual. I knew a lady once who said just that. Da igual la que use. Too bad I'm not an elephant. Take your time, Sherry. That deserves a slap, and then a kiss. And here's our lovesick friend. What is the meaning of this? Why are you bringing it here? I won't allow you to leave. I assure you that it is only a temporary measure. It won't be long until the elephant is gone, I promise you. Con algo de ingenuo he conseguido traer al elefante, sí. Y ahora a ver qué sacamos de él. It injured itself while running through the forest. Peaceful and compliant, almost a gentleman. Un dardo. There's something in the needle. There's something in the needle. A feathered fletching. This might be promising. Y falta algo. Se ha encendido por aquí durante un momento. Ay, pero ¿por qué no llega? No puedo moverlo. Ahora, ahora se mueve. El colmillo. The left tusk is larger and more worn. You're a left tusk elephant. Otra vez. Bueno, a ver. Vale, 
con este y con este tengo los dos primeros. Aunque, a ver... Necesitaría un menos dos. A ver, si mezclo este. Vale, si de aquí puedo sacar un uno... Que sería, por ejemplo, dividirlo entre dos y restarle uno. Vale, ahora este le cambio de signo. Y ahora necesito un uno aquí, que sería, por ejemplo, este dividido entre dos. Ya no me cabe más sitio. Hay restos de estricnina dentro. Tal cantidad podría matar a una persona, pero no es suficiente para acabar con un animal tan grande. En vez de eso, probablemente agravió al, al elefante, lo que provocó un ataque de ira y aumentó su fuerza. Vale, es trignina. La caja de dardos de Paul contenía estricnina, así que pff, es que más claro, yo creo que fue él. Dardo envenenado. Tanto Arthur Swift como eh, Paul Perks tenían los medios para dispararle el dardo al elefante. salvaje, sus amos son los únicos responsables de su comportamiento. El elefante requiere de un nuevo amo y un nuevo hogar. Debería discutir con Imoye en cualquier opción viable para salvar y reubicar al elefante. Yo creo que el elefante no tuvo culpa de nada. Vale, y puede que al final incluso Paul... Incluso Paul tampoco tuvo la culpa. Intentó salvar al... Quizá intentó salvar a Theodore. Vale, tengo que preguntar ¿Dónde está Paul? Vamos a buscarlo Vamos a buscar a Paul y a preguntarle si estuvo allí Y si disparó el dardo
no sé si estará por aquí. Aquí está. Just be quick. Just be quick. Pues no. No me deja preguntarle nada, así que no es a él al que tengo que preguntar. ¿A quién? Just be quick. Se sea breve, pero no me deja preguntarle nada. Así que a él no es. Quizá a su hija. razón sobre Goliat. Eh, ¿Cómo que tenía razón? I have to leave you for now. Vale, ahora la he liado. Ahora ya no, no dice lo mismo. Vale, esto ahora dice lo primero que yo había pensado. Ha sido él, seguro. Vale, esto, esto sí lo tengo más... Sí me cuadra más con lo que yo veía. I have to leave you for now. Así por ahora, a ver. You were right about Goliath. Everyone confirmed your opinion. They all agree that the beast is vicious. The animal wielded two tons of rage, and Mr. Gildan regrettably didn't stand a chance. The mating season only served to amplify its temper. Oh, spare me. That's a little too much detail, thank you. What is the point of this conclusion? How do you plan to use your findings? Liberarlo. Miss Gildan, I know how much you dislike the elephant. Rather more than dislike. I wish I could have done more to that wretch than just speak of it. But it's innocent. Goliath did not intend to kill your father. It was provoked, scared, and in mating season. Your father took Goliath's normal state for granted, and in doing so made a mistake that caused the elephant to be aggressive. Stop it! I already know the answer. I don't need your moral perspective on this situation. I don't know why you wasted your time. I actually did more than you. Which involved what, Miss Gildan? A man with a big wallet made an offer to take the elephant away. I accepted it. I was so naive thinking that it was me who was so helpless. But you are useless too. I am glad that the elephant is no longer of your concern, but I need to make sure. I don't care and I don't want to listen. Thought you wouldn't turn up. Why is that? Well, I suppose it's the English way to leave without saying goodbye, but I never planned to abandon you. Because you brought the filthy beast here. Because you did nothing to ensure its proper punishment. I had to do everything, not you. I was piecing together your father's murder. There was nothing to piece together. I told you, it was Goliath. I never asked you to talk with anyone. I asked you to find the stupid animal. Even if my efforts are invisible, that does not mean that I did nothing. I don't have the strength to argue. These are my father's belongings. They're about your mother. Take them all and leave me be. I won't waste your time any longer, Miss Gildan. Thank you for your help. Vale, todo lo que he conseguido. En nuestra vecina ha sido un par de objetos que Theodore había guardado y que se supone que tiene relación con mi familia. La señorita Gilder me los ha dejado en un banco cerca de la entrada de su mansión. Aquí está.
Carta de Violet a Theodore Gilden. Mi querido Theodore, sabes que valoro nuestra amistad más que muchos otros vínculos. Compartimos un alma inquieta y tu recibimiento y apoyo en tiempos tan duros han sido una bendición. Estoy infinitamente agradecida del giro del destino que hizo que Saiger y yo nos uniéramos a la misma expedición que tú. Cambió mi vida a mejor. Sin embargo, ni estoy ciega ni soy una hipócrita. hipócrita. Sé que tus sentimientos hacia mí son ahora más intensos. Perdóname, Theodore, pero yo no siento lo mismo. Debo ahorrarte el dolor de un amor no correspondido antes de que sea demasiado tarde. Te devuelvo el collar que tan amablemente me regalaste un recuerdo de nuestra aventura juntos. No puedo continuar llevándolo. Sé que esta carta te hará daño y me disculpo sinceramente por ello, pero mi corazón permanece aún con Saiger. Que todavía no conoce tus anhelos. Si esto supone el fin de nuestra amistad, lo entenderé. Pero espero que podamos continuar con las conversaciones, colaboraciones y buenos momentos que tanto me han alegrado a lo largo de todos estos años de verdad. My mother always wore this around her neck until one day it disappeared. I was wondering where it went. She said it was a birthday present from a good friend. I just had another glimpse of a memory, John. It's fuzzy, but I'm sure it happens somewhere in the manor. Finally moving forward. Shall we go? Vale, volvamos a la mansión a ver si se ha desbloqueado alguna puerta. Ah, es así. You can talk to other people and they won't ignore you. And I envy you. You can ignore any person you're bored with. You don't miss out on much. Most men are dull, unlike yourself. Well, I'm flattered. No veo ninguna puerta que esté abierta. Están todas igual. Another one. Ah, que tengo que buscarla, espera. There must be something important behind it. I can feel. I had a surprise for my mother. I was holding an ancient Greek vase, or rather, quite a big piece of it. You had a shovel with you, John. I remember now, we dug up the vase from Greek ruins here on Cordona, and were eager to show my mother right away. For some reason, the door was closed. We knocked. But nobody answered. We thought that she was busy, so we left the vase and ran downstairs. I decided to gather some archaeological tools in order to take a closer look at the vase. But then we heard something, didn't we? Yes, it came from upstairs. Another one. There must be something important behind it. I can feel it. Ah, I. The vase was broken, shards scattered all over the floor, and your mother was standing at the door. Indeed, John. I doubt it was her. Let me concentrate. 
Otto Richter was standing there furious at us. Dr. Richter told us never to disturb my mother when the door is closed. He said she had broken the vase. But we didn't believe him. I bet he smashed it. Vale, esta es la habitación de la madre. The things are still here. Presumably Mycroft never felt the need to sort through it all. Or couldn't bring himself to. No. He would have put it behind him and moved on. My brother is not one for sentimentality. Pasé mi niñez en la mansión Stonewood y estoy empezando a recuperar recuerdos desde aquel entonces. La casa está ahora abandonada, pero restaurar las habitaciones de estado a su estado original puede traerme más recuerdos de vuelta. Vale, dice, he conseguido pasar la habitación de mi madre, ¿qué recuerdos recuperaré allí? Pues... Está lleno de cosas. It reminds me of my mother. Esa es la lupa que encontramos. Look what I found. The White King is under attack. Sherry, can you save him and checkmate the opponent in one move? En serio. Yo me he retado a darle jaque mate en movimiento. Él lleva negras. Nice move. You saved the king and checkmated the black king with the rook. Ya Una hoja de papel vieja. 25 de marzo de 1869. Nota de consulta, doctor Otto Richard. Durante los últimos meses le he pedido a la señora Holmes que me dibuje unos paisajes. Los primeros eran claros y preciosos, pero los siguientes fueron alejándose progresivamente de la realidad. Parece que su enfermedad progresa rápidamente y quizá le afecte incluso a la vista. Puede que tenga que plantearme la trepanación. a la. Ya verás que el médico al final mató a la madre. Obituario de Sigurd Holmes en The Times. Londres, 21 de agosto de 1865. Ha fallecido el señor Sigurd Morland Holmes eminente arqueólogo, verificador e historiador, de solo 41 años de edad, sufrió el sábado un ataque al corazón durante la ópera en el teatro de Covent Garden. A pesar de los esfuerzos de un médico por reanimarlo, murió a las 6 y 20 de la noche. Su súbito deceso ha conmocionado a su gran círculo de conocidos. Sobreviven el, al señor Holmes, su esposa Violet, sus dos hijos, Mycroft de 16 años y Sherlock de 6. El funeral tendrá lugar el miércoles en el cementerio de St. James de Highgate, oficiado por el reverendo W. E. Stanley. It's a strange feeling to read about my father's death in the newspaper. I can't recall anything except the deep feeling of loss. You were too young. This room always reeked with an acrid know. medicinal stench. It's so sad. And here is the reason. I'm sorry. Do you think the doctor could have used these tools here? I hope not. Oh, otro análisis, no. There appear to be residues of the bottle's contents at the bottom. No labels. I doubt it ever had one. Diario de observaciones. Observaciones sobre la señora Byron Holmes. Doctor Otto Richter. La primera consulta reveló que la paciente tenía problemas de sueño, periodos de nerviosismo y cierta confusión con los recuerdos. Se le prescribió un sedante fuerte de administración diaria y se continuarán observando sus síntomas. 3 de agosto de 1868. Los sedantes han ayudado a minimizar los ataques de ansiedad. 
Pero la señora Holmes ahora experimenta catatonia, apatía y estado de depresión prolongados. Además, la confusión de la paciente ha empeorado y ha empezado a escribirle cartas a su esposo fallecido como si aún siguiera vivo. Le he prescrito otros seis medicamentos para equilibrar su estado mental y sesiones semanales de hidroterapia. La actual pauta de medicación ha arrojado resultados irregulares. La confusión se ha agravado hasta un delirio casi constante. La paciente empeora cuando le niegan lo que piensa y muestra un comportamiento agresivo. He contemplado varios episodios de violencia contra su propia familia y contra sí misma. Por consiguiente, he ordenado que instalen barrotes en las ventanas y que atan a la señora Holmes a la cama por las noches. Le he aumentado la medicación y le he prescrito a la paciente sesiones de hipnoterapia allí a, a viva hidroterapia, sí y aquí pone hipnoterapia además de alucinógenos suaves pues yo no veo los barrotes ¿dónde están? ah, sí, están por fuera y ahí están y la ataron straps on the bed Just doesn't look right. This picture was drawn by my mother. I recognize her hand. There's a date on it, 8th of December, 1868. This seems a bit odd. I can recognize my mother's style, but it's far too sloppy. Dated 12th of February, 1869. Como decía el médico, los dibujos cada vez van empeorando más. It's difficult to tell what this is meant to represent. There's no date at all. Boromuro de potasio. Seems this was the most frequently used medication. One dram dissolved in a glass of water administered daily, not to exceed one dose in 24 hours, not to be given to children. Febrero de 1869, de Violet para Seeger. Mi amado Seeger. Ay, aún no he recibido correspondencia tuya. Supongo que mis cartas te están siguiendo la pista. Por el continente según viajas. Espero que estés bien. Bueno, ella cree que su marido está de viaje. Eh, espero que estés bien y que ya estés de regreso a casa. Perdona mi impaciencia, pero la vida sin tu dulce voz y tus brillantes ojos casi no merece la pena. Y los chicos también necesitan a su padre. Me doy cuenta de que te echan de menos a pesar de que, como bien sabes, Mycroft no es de los que manifiestan su sentimiento. En caso de, mi, de que mis anteriores cartas se hayan perdido, que sepas que no, hemos mudado a Cordona. Por favor, vuelve. Oh, I would love to take a bath right now. Not this one. Surface corrosion suggests it was prone to extreme temperature fluctuations. For medical purposes, I suppose. Vale, esas eran las sesiones de hidroterapia. Agua muy caliente. My mother loved flowers. No sé para qué. Smile. I remember we would bring a new bouquet every week to make her a bit happier. That's why we collected all the violet flowers we could find on the island. Tenemos que ver lo que le estaban recetando a la madre. A saber lo que le estaban dando. A ver. Cero de estos. Vamos a ver. Si mezclo este con este, ya tendríamos seis.
si le invertimos tenemos los menos 6 y menos 1 si volvemos a invertir este tenemos el menos 4 y el menos 6 y el 2 se lo quitamos invirtiendo este que está aquí sí, correcto un análisis ha identificado la sustancia como un alucinógeno derivado de unas setas It reminds me of my mother. Looks like it was damaged by a blunt object. Oh, it brings back some memories. Después de examinar la habitación de mi madre, he empezado a recordar una mañana caótica que pasamos juntos. My mother was troubled that morning. Something we did upset her. Dr. Richter tried to calm her down. The broken plate shards were all over the floor. Mycroft had to change his suit as the one he was wearing was completely stained. We had to put the tray with Mother's morning tea down, but why? It's starting to ring a bell. I think it happened in the morning. Vale, hay que reconstruir lo que pasó, pero vamos a ver, vamos a ver qué cosa, qué opciones nos da. debería ir aquí, ¿no? Vale, vamos a ver. Hemos visto que hay el té ahí y ellos se lo están tomando. Vamos a probar este ahí. Aquí hemos visto que se cae la mesa. Y este no lo tengo claro. You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. You're not even no, trying, tampoco. Sherry. Concentrate. Eso sí. I don't believe you, liars! Get away from me! It's not true. It's not real. What? Oh. Everything will be okay, Sherry. It was the morning of the 9th of April, the day my mother died. La mañana del 9 de abril. El 9 de abril no empezó bien. Mi madre estaba nerviosa y luego histérica. Tiró la comida y le gritó al doctor llamándolo mentiroso. 
John y yo le llevamos al te el tema tinal, pero cuando empezó a gritar me asusté. Lo único que me se me ocurrió fue esconderme junto a la cama y esperar que todo pasara. Por fortuna, John estaba allí para protegerme y calmarme. Mi madre... Ella no era solo mal, pero... ...mal. Tenía que tener mercy. Lo siento. Eso explica por qué te guardas la memoria. Debe haber más, John. Esa fue la mañana de su muerte. Necesito saber qué pasó. John. Every time you... I, I just don't... Please, Sherry, leave it be. Just breathe, John. You know that I cannot leave the last stone unturned. We are so close. I... I know. But can we at least leave it for another day? Vamos a decirle que sí. Well, history tells us these memories are triggered by our investigation of other matters. I suspect it could not be forced even if I so desired. Thank you. How are you feeling about all this? Tell me, I'm not the only one reeling. In the end, little has changed. My mother was still unwell, just not with tuberculosis. What I do not yet understand is why Mycroft lied about it. There are precious few pieces of this puzzle remaining, John. Let us dawdle here no longer. Indeed. Wait. Did you hear that? Yes. Metallic souls. What is this sailor doing here? Alguien está llamando a la puerta de la mansión. Pero no esperaba visita. Vale. Vamos a ver quién es. Pues ya ha entrado. No hay de llamar nada. I was looking for you. With whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? You could call me your new game. The rules are simple. I have something for you, but you alone must work out what that is. And that something is my prize, I suppose. You're a fast learner, sir. Y esto que viene. Ha pintado hace poco. Viejo y gastado. Sin signos de trabajo físico arduo. Así que de marinero poco, eh. Esconde algo de forma cuadrada. Teniendo en cuenta el, peque el pequeño objeto cuadrado de su bolsillo, he deducido que la verdadera razón de su visita era entregarme una invitación para que visite su exposición. Pues tendría sentido. Y aquí dice que es un empleado de la galería de arte de Vogel y que la verdadera razón de su visita era entregarme una invitación. O sea, al final es lo mismo. Me va a entregar una invitación. Marinero artista, venga. I have no intention of visiting your exhibition. I have no interest in amateur artists. I'm sorry, what? You are here to invite me to your vernissage, are you not? That square-shaped something in your pocket is an invitation. Oh, yes, sir, it is, but it is ah, not. Ah, I entonces. I only work there for Mr. Vogel himself. He has sent me to invite you to his gallery. So you're not from the Mariner's service? So even the fact that I'm your game hasn't led you to deduce that something in my appearance must be fake? Disappointing. Mr. Vogel gives you too much credit. Here is your invitation. Mr. Vogel needs your help. I hope you won't fail him again. Farewell. Vale, me equivoqué. O sea que al final... No era él el que pintaba. Y entonces, ¿por qué estaba lleno de pintura? Como sin duda ya habrá adivinado, me gustaría invitarlo a deleitarse con mi exposición. No solo con el propósito de contemplar la belleza, sino también como una necesidad más general de su genio. Encontrará la galería de arte en Caravanserai, en el cruce de Bazaar Road y Hermes Avenue en la Old City. A ver, una galería de arte en la Old City no pega mucho, ¿eh?
Voy a probar antes la del músico, a ver si encuentro el violín. Vale, vamos a leer lo primero, supongo que leer el cartel. Cerca de la iglesia de la Catedral de San Clemente. La zona centro de Escaladio. Vamos. Ah, mira, ya puedo seguir comprando. ¿Por qué el Cordona Chronicle tiene ahí algo para que yo lo visite? Vale, antes de nada... Voy a comprar mobiliario para la casa. A ver... Ahí. Simply the best garments on the island. Masterpieces by local artists. At my goods will brighten up your house. Enjoy your purchase. Me quedo sin dinero, eh. A ver aquí. Aquí también. Y ahí también. Eh, no, no era aquí. Está dentro de la islita esa que está aquí al lado. Y había que entrar por aquí. Refresh your interior. My goods will brighten up your house. Enjoy your purchase. Cada vez más caras las cosas. A ver, eh, y ahora ahí. It's a good day for a purchase. May your purchase bring you joy. Ahora sí. Catedral de San Clemente en el centro de Escaladio. Ah, mira. Se me había olvidado este sitio. Ya que tengo que ir ahí. Goliath has been adopted by Fergus Tailheart and can breed on Cordona. Interested in some Cordona news? Check the front page. You won't regret it. Exquisite furniture for your home. My goods will brighten up your house. Enjoy your purchase. Habitación de mi madre restaurada, vale. Pues otra habitación restaurada por completo. Luego iremos aquí a ver qué es lo que hay dentro. ¿Por qué quieren que vaya aquí? 
Vale, debería buscar entonces los carteles. Refresh your interior. Aquí está. Robado. Se han llevado mi viejo violín. Si tiene información alguna que pueda ayudarme a recuperar mi instrumento, por favor venga a verme a Professor's Road al norte de Adler Street en Escaladio. Vale, ¿dónde está Adler Street? Aquí está, al norte de Adler Street. Aquí está, Professor Road. Eso tiene que estar por aquí, está justo y cerquita donde estoy yo ahora. We have a large assortment and pleasant. Ahí. Tratoria. Ahí no. I'm having deja vu. This house seems so familiar. Greetings. Would you be here about my violin by any chance? I am. I saw from your posters that it was stolen. The name is Sherlock Holmes. Very pleased to meet you, Mr. Holmes. I'm Anthony. Anthony Jones. But uh, by the sounds of it, you haven't seen my instrument, alas. <laughs> But if there's anything you can do to help locate it, I'd be most glad. Just tell me exactly what happened. How was your violin stolen? Some needy soul broke into my home while I was out. The only thing of value they took was the instrument. Did you report the theft to the police? I did, but they dismissed it as petty theft. Don't get me wrong, eh? I don't blame them. They certainly have more important matters to deal with. It would be another crime if I let some petty thief get away with your beloved violin. Let me help you find it. Oh, thank you very much. I cannot tell you how grateful I am. <laughs> Come inside, I'll show you everything. Feel free to look around. haciendo John mirando directo mirando el fuego nada más bueno ahí tenemos qué raro no me aparece el, el icono para la concentración The door was kicked in. this cover is dusty it hasn't been taken off for a long time The thief left the bow. I suppose he prefers pizzicato. The scrap of fabric is covered in white stains. Clumsy of a thief to cut himself on the glass he just broke. The jagged bottle reeks of cheap whiskey. An utterly useless theft deterrent for a glass display. <laughs> Nothing was taken except for the violin. How odd. De qué sirve un candado cuando lo que protege tiene un cristal que se puede romper fácilmente. These are intricate pieces of music. Quite beautiful if my sight reading holds true. I see you've received many accolades. Ah, those are from a long time ago. I used to perform a lot in my youth. Anything else you'd like to know? 
You weren't here when the burglary happened, correct? I was tending to my wife's grave at the cemetery. I was only gone a few hours and locked the door before leaving. Does anyone else live here? No. My dear Emily died long ago. And God never blessed us with children. I used to give music lessons, but nobody visits me anymore. Rastro de sangre y otra vez un análisis químico. A ver. Diez, uff. A ver, tenemos tres. Vale, tenemos 10 aquí. Pero para llegar a menos 8... No, yo creo que he empezado mal. Claro, pero ahora hay que llegar a 10. Claro, pero también puedo... Pero más fácil... Sería... Ese no. Vale, ahora para llegar a 10... Y ahora como saco menos ocho.
hasta que estoy liando, esto no, no va a llegar a ningún sitio. Esto no va a llegar a ninguna parte. A ver, si yo ahora le resto dos... A ver, deja. Ahí está mezclado. Y luego lo vuelvo a mezclar con este. La tela contiene restos de sal y pólvora. El ladrón se cortó con el cristal roto y dejó un rastro de gotas de sangre. Vamos a seguirlo. ¿Dónde llegó? A ver, lo he perdido. Parecía que giraba. ¿Ves? Gira por aquí. ¿A dónde? ¿Aquí? ¿Dónde termina? Fresh fruit. Freshy, fleshy, fresh. Is this familiar to you? I've never heard of it. I'm sorry. Vale, sabemos que aquí hay sangre, pero después qué? Da la vuelta por aquí. Fresh fruit. Freshy, fleshy, fresh. Can I ask you a question? I've never heard of it. I'm sorry. Aquí no es. Fresh fruit. Freshy, fleshy, fresh. Esta, no. Can you satisfy my curiosity? Sounds familiar, but no. Ask someone else. A ver. Me 
me puedo disfrazar. Esto no. Aquí. Can you satisfy my curiosity? Hmm. Interesting. But I've never heard of it. No, nada. Help me, please. Hmm. Interesting. But I've never heard of it. You obviously haven't thought this all through. Or are you just annoying these people on purpose? Are you able to help me? Hmm. No, no. No creo que sea nada de preguntar a nadie. A ver, claramente vino por aquí. Giró por aquí. No puedo hacer nada. Fresh fruit. Freshy, fleshy, fresh. Excuse me, just one question. No, it's the first time I've heard it. Vale, y si cuando vino a las apartas. Si entró aquí, a lo mejor puedo dar la vuelta. Esto nada que ver. No, no puedo entrar. Aquí tampoco. Esa es otra manera de entrar ahí. Could you help me? I have nothing to say because I don't know. Check with someone else.
No sé lo que hacer. Vale, volverle a preguntar a este algo no creo. Ah, oh, it is all so unfortunate. sombrero tirado en el suelo El rastro se pierde cerca del carro del fruto. Ah, vale, había que hacer eso. Había que acercarse y pulsar el botón ahí. Cerca del frutero. ¿Ahora qué? ¿Ahora sí puedo hablar con el niño o qué? Hello, sir. Ahora sí. ¿Would you like some fruit? Fresh from the orchard? I'm not hungry, but I'm looking for a violin that was stolen. Any chance you saw someone with one? Uh, oh, yes, I did. It was sailors, sir. And they were very good customers. They ate lots of fruit. And said that my donkey looks like their friend. A lieutenant, lieutenant, lieutenant Sean. Hmm, a lieutenant. Did you see where they went? No, sorry, sir. I was helping other buyers. Oh, and sir, the sailors also took my donkey. So I guess they weren't very good customers. They promised to return him, but they didn't come back. My father will kill me if he finds out. So I'm still waiting here for them. Do you know Anthony Jones, the musician? He lives nearby. Of course. Mr. Jones is very kind. He never barters. Funny you ask. I'm yet to crack a smile, so pray tell. Well, the first time they came by, the sailors mentioned something about music, so... I told them Mr. Jones can teach them how to play. Wait. So what is his violin? Oh. You couldn't have known they would steal from the old man. Fortunately, you made up for it with your testimony. I'll find them and your donkey soon enough. Stay put. <laughs> y ahora el burro. <laughs> ahora no solo el el violín, sino también el burro. Venga. Se fueron en burro. Someone must have seen where they took it. It's a donkey, for heaven's sake. A ver, no, no me digas que otra vez lo mismo.
Ah, hay que preguntar ahora. A ver, ahora sí sabe. Can you satisfy my curiosity? Oh, every story has a price. You're lucky I'm telling you this for free. Uno de los comerciantes se acuerda de los marineros tirando del burro cerca de una fuente junto a la arcada de la columna. ¿De qué columna? Ahí. The donkey was being stubborn, but so were they. There we are. The first lead in our asinine chase. No me digas que el sombrero este tiene que ver con el caso. They certainly bought a lot of fruit from the boy. Fear of scurvy, perhaps? A ver, si me acerco a esto, me dirá que el sombrero se les cayó. One of them lost his cap. Sí. Pues sí tiene que ver. Another bottle of whiskey. Y aquí está el burro. The sailors couldn't get him inside the tavern. Don't forget to point the boy to his donkey on our. Yo me ha recordado que cuando pasemos por delante debería enseñarle al frutero dónde está el burro. Vale, pues venga, vamos a hacer eso primero. I found your donkey. It's not far from here, outside the Wet Whiskers Tavern. You'd better go after it before someone decides to borrow it again. Thank you, sir. I'll be quick as a flash. Hey, Yusuf, please look after my cart, okay? And don't eat anything. Well, you can have a couple of grapes, but only the small ones. Well done. I look forward to the beautiful reunion. No voy a esperar que al niño que vuelva. Que le den. Sí, sí, claro. Yo esperándome ahí y el niño ahí jugando con el burro. Come on, move. Oh. Those drunks are wreaking havoc in there. Averigua quién la está armando en la taberna. Vale, grupo de marineros es lo que tenemos por ahora. Reef, those drunks. Ah, me faltó el grupo de manier. Vale, tenemos tres. May I ask you something? No, eso no era. Grief, those drunks are reeking up. Puerto. Ah, no me dio tiempo. Tengo que ir más rápido. Grief, those drunks. Vale, esos tres. Casi. Un grupo de marineros alborotadores están sembrando el caos en la taberna Wet Whiskers. Se han vuelto locos y son peligrosos. No me extraña que los parroquianos tengan miedo de enfrentarse a ellos. Y empezamos otra vez, a ver. Take a rest, my friend. No more crime for you. Give him the. Take a 
take a rest. My the snuff's ready. Oh, oh. Don't cry, you'll live. Give him the pepper snuff. Snuff's ready. I'm coming. Don't bother moving. Give him the pepper snuff. for you. I couldn't miss the party. The snuff's ready. I'm coming. Oh. No more crime for you until next month. Take a rest, my friend. Fin. Bien. Cada vez se me da mejor. Well, they left me no choice. I think I might be nearing intoxication myself just from the smell of them. Ahora que lo hemos parado los pies a los alborotadores, puedo buscar el violín. Tiene que estar en la taberna. ¿Se refiere aquí? No, aquí dentro no. O sea, ¿dónde, dónde acabó? Ah, aquí. Esta es la taberna, en teoría. O es el lugar donde lo... Aquí, no, tiene que ser aquí. Tiene que ser, estar escondido por algún sitio. Ah, sí, está aquí mismo, míralo. The maker's stamp suggests it was made by a student of Presender. Quite a lovely instrument. And somehow, after all the mayhem, it's still in one piece. Hay que devolvérselo a su dueño. Vale, después de tanto movimiento ya no me acuerdo de dónde vivía. me ubico Here's your violin, Mr. Jones. It might have gained a few nicks and scratches, but considering what it's been through, it's a miracle that it's still in one piece. God bless you. I am deeply in your debt, Mr. Holmes. The scratches don't matter. They are like scars, each telling a story. It is the sound that matters. Oh, you should hear her sing. It would be my pleasure. This melody, Sherlock. Don't you recognize it? Melodía familiar. La melodía que tocaba el señor Jones me ha traído recuerdos. Look up, Sherry. There used to be an attic up there. 
We used to sneak in from the roof and listen to Mr. Jones play when we were children. You should tell the old man the truth. I think it will mean a lot to him. Bravo. I had forgotten how beautiful a violin sounds in the skilled hands of a virtuoso. That, uh, melody, it brought back some memories. I have a confession to make, Mr. Jones. As a child, I used to sneak into the attic above this very room and listen to you play. Spellbound by the music. Oh, so that was you. After my wife's death, it was difficult to pick up the violin again. But knowing someone was listening helped me persevere. In fact, a young man like yourself could breathe a second life into this instrument. It's a remarkable outlet for one's emotion. You should have it. I, I can't accept that. And, well, I don't play. Ah, it's never too late to learn, Mr. Holmes. The way I see it, the violin chose you. Take good care of her. Sherry, I'm really glad we helped him. Y de aquí le viene la afición a tocar el violín de, de Holmes. Y supongo que ese será el violín que lleva siempre. Mr. Sherlock Holmes, I presume. Correct. With whom do I have the pleasure? Emilio Estevo. Happy to make your acquaintance. I am here on behalf of Mycroft, your brother. He is on his way to Cordona. In the meantime, he requests your assistance with a sensitive matter. My orders are to provide you with the details. You have my attention, Mr. Estevo. Mark Ridley, the son of General Arthur Ridley, is being blackmailed. Suffice to say, the compromising material is of a delicate nature. The matter is of no small importance to the Crown, especially given the status quo on Cordona. What about the status quo? The Ottoman population holds a certain animosity towards the colonial rule. It's been this way since we took over the island. General Ridley made concessions with their leaders, but I'm afraid we are still teetering on the edge of open hostility. What does Mycroft want me to do? Retrieve the blackmail material? No, sir. Nothing of the sort. Mark Ridley is meeting the blackmailer atop the old city bridge tower. You shall observe from a distance, then establish the blackmailer's identity. Do not attempt to arrest him. We'll handle it from there. Saving the best for yourself? Fine. There is a cafe just over the bridge that provides a good vantage point. Please report to me when you are done. I'll be waiting for you here and remember. Discretion is of the essence. Otra petición de Mycroft y un nuevo caso se llama Amor, Muerte y Cordón.